In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Merch by Amazon, and we're going to start right now. What's up, YouTube? This is Doug from MerchMetrics.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online, grow your print-on-demand business, or learn about other ways to earn passive income, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In its simplest terms, Merch by Amazon is a print-on-demand platform that allows you to upload designs and license Amazon to put those designs on products to sell. Every time one of those products sells, Amazon pays us a royalty fee for the use of our design. Sounds pretty great, right? Well, stick around till later in this video when I explain why I don't think Merch by Amazon is a good platform for someone who's brand new to print-on-demand. If you want to know more about the print-on-demand business model, there's a link in the description below to a short guide I wrote on how the whole print-on-demand thing works. But really quickly, print on demand means that no actual physical products are created until someone orders something. That means that there's no upfront cost to get started and no inventory to store or ship. Print on demand is a pretty awesome way to get started making a little extra money if you're looking for something that won't take up a lot of investment, except maybe a little bit of your time. So how does Merch by Amazon work? As a merch seller, you create digital artwork to put on your physical products. You write the titles and descriptions of your work and try to attract buyers. You select the pricing and which products that Merch offers that you want your artwork to be placed on. Amazon puts the product onto Amazon.com and gives you 180 days to get a sale. If you sell the product with that design in 180 days, it'll stay on Amazon forever. And if it doesn't, then it'll be removed. Amazon pays out royalties once a month for sales of the previous month. So for example, in August, I get paid out for all of my sales from July that actually shipped out to customers. If a product hasn't yet shipped to a customer, then it'll be rolled over into the next month. Merch by Amazon is by far the most restrictive of all the print-on-demand platforms. And what I mean by that is that Amazon has a lot of rules that you have to adhere to, and it also limits how much you can grow and how quickly you can grow. Now, the most restrictive thing about Merch by Amazon is the copyright and trademark system that assesses your new designs that you've uploaded to see if you've violated any, anyone else's copyright. Whereas most platforms kind of give you a little bit of leeway to describe a product using common terms, Merch by Amazon will search your titles and descriptions for any copyrighted or trademarked phrase. So this gets a lot of people in trouble when they're new to the platform or new to print on demand because they don't realize that they're using terms that are actually copyrighted and a lot of common phrases and common terms are copyrighted or trademarked which means you can't use them on a Merch by Amazon design. Merch by Amazon also works on a tier system and what that means is that you start with only a few slots to put designs up. The beginning tier right now is 10 designs. So you can have 10 designs live on Merch by Amazon when you first get started. Now, in order to move up to the second tier, which is the 25 tier, you have to make 10 sales. And that's pretty much how it works throughout the system. You get a new tier, you make that number of sales, and then you get you become eligible to move up to the next level. Now, just because you're eligible does not mean you'll actually be tiered up. It just means that it's possible for you to get tiered up. Amazon will review your designs, they'll review how many sales you've had, they'll review how much money they're making off of the designs that you sell, uh, and how much money you're making off the designs that you sell. And then they'll uh, evaluate you and decide if you get to tear up. Now, most of the time, if you had your sales, you will tear up, but sometimes people have been left to languish without any reason why for long periods of time. Another downside of Merch by Amazon is that it's so easy to get started and there's no barrier to entry that copying of designs is pretty rampant on the platform. Now, it's not just a problem with Merch by Amazon, it's a problem with all print on demand, so it's just something you need to be aware of. Your designs will be copied. However, there's not a lot you can do about it. Now you can try to track down every single copy of all of your designs and try and report them to the platform. And while this is probably worthwhile if you have designs that are selling a lot, for the most part it doesn't make much sense and you'd be better served spending your time creating new design. Merch by Amazon is now available in six different countries. Now that's great and it's definitely an improvement from where we used to be selling in only the United States. However, uh, other platforms like Redbubble allow you to sell basically anywhere in the world. Amazon is looking for people who are going to be successful with Merch by Amazon, and that means that they're not just going to let anyone in. It used to be that if you applied, you waited an appropriate amount of time, everyone got a chance to be on the platform. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. You have to prove that you either have experience creating designs or you have experience driving traffic, and that gives Amazon enough information to know if you're going to be successful. 
The best thing about Merch by Amazon is that your products are available on Amazon.com, the world's number one online retailer. What that means is you don't have to work very hard for people to find your products, and that's probably the best thing about Merch by Amazon. So if I don't recommend Merch by Amazon for a beginner, what do I recommend? I think getting started on a platform like Redbubble gives you a lot of the benefits of being on a platform like Merch by Amazon without a lot of the downsides. Redbubble is also a marketplace like Amazon, so you don't have to drive any of the any of your own traffic to your designs. And that's really good for someone who's just getting started. It's hard enough to learn how to make designs that are going to sell, how to write descriptions that will attract people, and how to describe your product to make people more likely to buy. If you have to worry about how you're going to advertise or how you're going to drive, drive traffic to your products, it just makes it that much harder. Like I said, Redbubble sells and ships internationally, just like Merch, in their six markets, except it's available in a lot more markets. In addition to the available markets, Redbubble has a lot more products available currently than Merch by Amazon. Merch has about 11 products available with a couple of new ones that are being rolled out currently, uh, which is phone cases for the Samsung and Apple phones. However, those are not available on most accounts right now, and as Amazon has more capacity to produce those products, they'll be rolled out to more of the accounts. However, at this time, not everyone is able to put designs on all products. I have a whole course on Redbubble and getting started right here on YouTube, so if you want to check that out, it'll be in the cards above or down in the description below. Alright, so you made it all the way to the end of the video and you're ready to take the next step. Up in the cards above, I have a link to my playlist which will get you started on Redbubble. It is a complete course beginning to end showing everything I do to sell products on Redbubble. It is 100% free and the whole course is available here on YouTube. So if you hit the card, you can go to the playlist. If you feel like you need a little more information on how the print-on-demand industry works and how you make money using print-on-demand, then check the description below for a link to the guide that I wrote on how the print-on-demand business model works and how you can get started. All right, thanks guys. This is Madug with MerchMetrics.com and I'll see you in the next video.